Tangents to a circle. Question 2. Find the length of the tangent from point P, 8,6, to the circle x square plus y square equals to 25. So this is a point 8,6 given to us. And here's a circle x square plus y square equals to 25. Circle x square plus y square equals 25 means a circle with centered origin, right? So let me call this as O, the origin, and radius of 5. Do you see that? R square. So the general equation of circle is x square plus y square equals to R square. This is a circle with center at origin, right? Center at 0, 0, right? So this point is 0, 0 for us, the center of the circle. And the point given to us is P, 8,6. And what we need to find is length of the tangent from point P to the circle. So we can draw a tangent from here. For example, this could be one of the tangents. As you can see from here, we can actually draw two tangents from a point outside the circle, right? We could also draw this tangent. Do you see that? So we can also draw this tangent from here. So we could use any one of those tangents to solve a problem, correct? So there could be two tangents from a point outside the circle, correct? Of course, if the point is inside the circle, you cannot draw a tangent, right? Because then it just goes through it, diagonally outside, right? It will not be tangent. So a tangent can be drawn if a point is outside the circle or is on the circle, right? Even then, you can draw a circle, tangent. But a, there will be only one tangent if the point is on the circle, correct? But if the point is outside the circle, we can actually draw two tangents. Now the question which we are working on now is to find length of the tangent. So we already have this tangent. So let's, let's say this is the point Q where it makes tangent with this circle. So, so we'll join this with the center. So that becomes the radius, right? So what we have here is the point Q where the tangent touches the circle. Now at that point, the radius will make 90 degrees with the tangent, right? So always, it is important to note that the radius will be at right angles to the tangent, right? So two things which we should consider. One, that we could draw two tangents, right? From outside point. And second, that tangent is perpendicular to the radius, right? At the point on the circle, right? Let me draw on the circle. Is that okay? So that to find the length of the tangent from a point P to Q, what we need to do is, you know, we need to find what OP is, right? Now, what is OP? To find OP, what we will do, we can draw perpendicular here and consider this triangle outside. 8 and 6 are the coordinates of point P. It means x distance is 8 and y is 6. Now, square of 8 and square of 6 will give us OP, correct? The hypotenuse. Okay. So OP could be found from OP square is equals to 8 square plus 6 square. Correct. Okay. Now which is 64 plus 36 and that is equal to 100, right? So OP square is 100 for us. So OP will be square root of 100, which is 10. So OP is 10 for us. Now we know two sides of the triangle OPQ and it's a right triangle and therefore from here we can find what QP is. Now in this triangle angle Q is 90 degrees, OP is the hypotenuse. Therefore OQ square plus QP square is equals to OP square, correct? So we can write this as OQ square plus QP square equals to OP square, right? Now, 
O Q is the radius of the circle, correct? Which is 5. Radius is 5, right? Radius is 5. Radius square is 25. So O Q square is 25. So we get 25 plus Q P square is something which we need to find, right? So we get Q P square equals to O P square. We found it to be 100, right? It's 100. So from here we can rearrange and find what Q P is, right? So Q P equals to 100 minus 25 square root, which is square root of 75, correct? So the exact answer for this will be 25 times 3 is 75. 25 is 5 square root, 5 square root, 3 units. So we know that QP will be 5 square root 3 as in the exact answer, correct? So that is how we can find length of the tangent from a point outside the circle. I hope you understand. We have a couple of examples just for finding length of the tangent from point outside the circle so that you understand it in a better way, right? So go through these examples and adopt the method which you like most. Thank you.